we are solving this question the ends q and r of two thin wires pq and rs are soldered together we make two wires one is pq and other is rs the wire ends q and r are soldered together initially each of the wire has a length of 1 meter this is 1 meter 1 meter and their temperature is 10 degree celsius the whole wire is at 10 degree celsius okay s is heated and maintained at 400 degree celsius we heat it up and it is brought to 400 celsius okay the system is thermally insulated from the surrounding this all thing is insulated so that heat is not going out if the thermal conductivity of wire pq is twice the wire rs it has thermal conductivity and this thermal conductivity is twice of this thermal conductivity if it has conductivity k it has thermal conductivity 2k now the coefficient of linear thermal expansion of pq is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 5k thermal coefficient alpha is given to us 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 per kelvin the change in the length of wire pq this wire will experience certain change in the length and we have to find out that change in the length and the four options are given why there should be a change of length because of heating you see it is 10 degree it is 400 degree both are maintained but initially the complete wire was at 10 degree when we make it 400 degree celsius and continue this system then what happens if we continue this system yes this is at 10 this is at 400 so the heat will flow from 400 to 10 it keeps on flowing keeps on flowing and it becomes a equilibrium uh, system if the system is in thermal equilibrium that means the temperature of every point will remain constant this will be 400 this will be 10 this will be slightly less than 400 less than that less than that less than that and finally it comes to 10 degree that means there is a temperature distribution all over it this is one thing we have studied in thermal distribution in the condition of equilibrium that is what is happening and that is why they have used the word that the total system is insulated so that means the heat is not going out the complete heat which is starting from here q is passing through this point q is passing through this point q this happens when the system is insulated and this happens when system is in equilibrium okay then what happens that means initially this was 10 degree this was 10 this was 10 this was 10 now it is 400 it will not remain at 10 it must be at certain temperature which is higher than 10 degree and lower than 400 so now if it is t it is less than t it is less than t it is less than t and finally it is 10 that means this rod is also got heated up 10 to t heated up now if this got rod is heated up this wire is heated up what will happen to its length another phenomena takes place and this second phenomena is thermal expansion whenever there is a change in temperature the wire will get extension in the length and this is the coefficient of extension this means per meter per kelvin this length will be increased that is given so how much will be the total increase in the length of this wire that is asked from us what do we need to find out extension in length answer to find out extension in length we need to have extension in length is equal to coefficient of 
length expansion coefficient of length expansion with the temperature alpha multiplied by original length multiplied by change in temperature this gives us length so we need three quantities alpha coefficient of expansion that is given to us length that is given to us one meter only one thing we need delta t what is the rise in temperature okay now there is a problem the problem is what we have learned that this rod was at a certain temperature t1 the whole rod is heated to a temperature t2 and there is a expansion but what we have learned so far is this formula is good for the total rod is heated up to the next temperature but in this it's not happening when the heat is flowing this is at 10 this remains at 10 but this has been heated up from 10 to another temperature higher temperature that means if this is at 10 this is at 20 this is at 30 this is at 40 this is at 60 what will happen the one which is at 10 will not expand at 20 little expand at 50 more expansion and at 100 very much more expansion so what will be the total expansion this we cannot get by a single formula which was a simple formula what we can do so we have a solution for that whenever this type of gradual increase is there we can always use calculus and that is what we are going to use here that if there is an expansion at a distance x for a small element dx is so much then we will integrate all the expansions for every dx we will get the expansion done and that what we are going to see here so first thing we will need a change in temperature so for change in temperature we must know if this is 10 degree then what is this temperature so that we know in the rod pq what are the temperatures of the two ends one end has a temperature of 10 degree other end has a temperature of t so what is this value of t so that we can find out the temperature at every point if this point has a distance from here to here this distance is x this width is dx now what is expansion in the dx we calculate and then integrate that expansion for x from 0 to x is equal to 1 meter again what we are going to do delta l is change in the length is integration in delta of dx that is extension in the length of dx only dx delta dx this we are supposed to find out and we do this expansion when x is changing from 0 to x going to 1 meter but this expansion in dx how do we get we get it this is alpha and change in temperature we should know and the length is dx see only for this I am calculating only for dx the length of dx is dx the temperature coefficient is alpha and I have to multiply it with change in temperature change in temperature means what earlier it was at 10 now at what temperature is this this I should know and now that I am at a fix I cannot find it here so I take help of the first situation which is given to us again how do we approach it we want to find out change in the length for thermal expansion and this is the formula for this because temperature at every point is different we decide to go by calculus then we take a very small element dx which is as good as a point uh, width okay we will find out extension in the dx that is delta dx 
if that we find delta dx then that expansion we will integrate for this dx this dx this dx this dx this dx and when the x is changing from 0 to 1 meter then we get extension for the full this is method we are going to adopt so what we are going to integrate expansion in dx and what is the formula for that alpha coefficient multiplied by length this length only not this length this length only dx multiplied by delta t delta t is what the temperature difference of this when it was earlier earlier it was how much 10 degree now it is how much i don't know this is we are supposed to know what is the temperature here and for this it is very easy to find out how we can find out first let's find out this t this t is the rise in temperature from 10 to t at 1 meter then you can always find the ray rise up to x centimeter okay let's find it so do we know any equation which is involving t answer is yes the phenomena is the heat flowing in this wire is at this point q at this point q q q q so i calculate heat flow from this point to this point and what is the phenomena of flow of heat heat flow q is equal to and uh, we have for this a formula the heat flow is directly proportionate to area directly proportionate to change in the temperature 10 degree to t degree that is t minus 10 and coefficient of flow of the heat this coefficient of heat transmission that for this part is 2k 2k the same q is flowing here so if i make formula for this what will be that answer that will be thermal uh, coefficient for transmission of heat for that part is 1k area of cross section is same but the temperature difference is 400 minus t but we know according to continuity this heat should be same so q whether we catch it here or q we catch it here it should be same these two are same so we get the formula 2 k a t minus 10 is equal to k a 400 minus t 400 minus t so now in this k a is cancelled now t minus 10 here uh, we open it 2 t minus 20 is equal to 400 minus t so this t will come here as 3 t is equal to 420 so t is equal to 3 1 4 0 so t is 140 degree celsius so temperature of this point is 140 degree okay starts from 10 goes to 140 this is length how much 1 meter but what we want we want temperature at this point what will be the temperature at this point answer is for 1 meter length for 1 meter length the temperature rise how much 10 to 140 for 1 meter length rise is 130 then for x meter for x meter the rise will be 130 into x this is rise in the temperature now this is rise and rise means what delta t change in temperature okay so we come to know delta t and this is what we wanted so now we write it here 130 x and we come back to our this calculation so x to 1 
delta dx right so this becomes delta l expansion delta l is equal to there we get alpha into 130 into x dx and we have to integrate it from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 okay let's integrate it it will come to be 130 into alpha 130 into alpha this is constant this is constant so integration of x into dx that is x square upon 2 integration is done and what are the limits limits are 0 to 1 0 to 1 now you solve it put it 1 here put it 0 1 minus 0 this 2 will come out and this 2 is going to cancel it 65 and this is 1 minus 0 that is 1 so what we get our answer is 65 into alpha this is what delta l expansion in the length so this is equal to 65 multiplied by alpha and the value of alpha is this is linear thermal expansion coefficient of linear thermal expansion so this is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 per kelvin and now if we do this multiplication 65 into 1.2 what do we get it this is 78 65 into 1.2 is 78 into 10 to the power minus 5 okay delta l length expansion what is the unit of length expansion naturally in the unit of length that is meter so this unit is meter per kelvin meter okay now per kelvin is gone because it is not coefficient delta l will have meter okay so this is our answer in meter if you want the answer in millimeter millimeter everywhere millimeter so we also convert it to millimeter and this comes out to be 0 0.78 two digits put it here two digits and this will be 10 to the power minus 3 this is 0 0.78 millimeter that's all so our right option is option a a is our right option and we got it so this is how we have done it so what was the knowledge required the knowledge required is number one in flow of heat when equilibrium is achieved then what are the principles involved answer heat flowing from every section heat flowing from every section has to be same that is one principle we have used other for expansion we should know the formula that expansion is equal to coefficient of thermal expansion multiplied by total length multiplied change in temperature and here what was the difference the change in temperature is not uniform for the complete rod the change of temperature is different for different parts so we calculate change of difference for a very small thin dx width and then we integrate it for the complete length so expansion for the full length we converted please understand this expansion in the full length is expansion in the small part that is to be integrated for this value of x which is changing from 0 to 1 meter this gives the total expansion and that expansion is delta l so this is equal to this and we calculated it so this is how we can solve it thank you